time. Um, I wanted to uh, talk to you about confidentiality, and that means that whatever you say stays here, um, and except for the exception of self-harm or harm to, you, to others. This videotape will also be used in a classroom um, for video of a project that I'm doing, so I just have to inform you of that. And also I have some paper and pen here uh, just to jot notes as we talk if I need to. You're welcome to look at the notes at the end of the session. Um, that's fine. So um, can you tell me a little bit more about yourself and maybe what you do uh, for weekly activities or maybe talk about what you like? All right, well, I like animals, I like hiking, um, I like reading, I like poetry, and I don't like essays or algebra. And um, I like to write in my journal. Um, yeah, I like to go outside. And I like to read about dreaming and things like that. Dreaming? Yeah, I think that dreams are, are meaningful and that it's never just about the dream and there's always some meaning there's always some meaning behind it but I mean not everyone thinks I just think it's interesting so. what about friends at school yeah um, I have a couple of friends but no really close friends um, I mean we all have uh, friends for everything but I don't think that I have any really really good solid friends that I know will be there through anything, so. Yeah. Um, the friends that you do have, um, do they, are they good friends? Or are yeah. they acquaintances? They're good friends. Um, well, at least I think so. But uh, you never know with people. But, um, yeah, a couple of them I, I know that they'll be there um, if I need something. Okay. What kind of activities do you do during the week and on the weekend? Like, what is your schedule like? Go to school. Um, I go to Bangor. And I visit with my boyfriend and his mom and his sisters and his family. And I do homework on school nights. Sometimes after school, I hang out with my friend Dasha from Ukraine and Pedro from Brazil and they're pretty cool and we get coffee at Dunkin Donuts and it's pretty fun. You like coffee? Yes. <laughs> nice. Well it sounds like you have a really active life. Mm -hmm. Maybe do I hear you saying correctly that you might want a few more good friends in your life or it seems like from what you're saying to me that the people that you do have in your life are from out of the country you get, do you get find that you get along with people from different countries better than here or? Yeah, um, I loved Spanish. I took up to Spanish four, and I loved my teacher. And she's not American. Um, I'm taking French right now, and he is not American. And I always end up being friends with people that are not American because I typically find that. I don't know why this is, but they just seem to have more value, and like uh, they're just kind of get it. Um, I don't really know. I'm I'm friends with American people, but for example, uh, some of my friends from other countries tell me that in America uh, they can't find loyal people, and they tell me that in their countries things are different, and that maybe you have a few friends, but they will have your back. But in America, that people are just always talking about each other. And I've heard that from a couple of different people that are not from America. So, uh, it's kind of interesting. So I hear you saying that the people from other countries, you seem to impress about the loyalty. So loyalty is important to you? Yeah, but, um, I mean, I take that sort of with a grain of salt because no one is perfect. And, mm -hmm. you know... Sometimes people aren't loyal, and that's just a human flaw, and so you can't always, it's just repetitive if they know it's hurting you and they keep 
hurting you, then that's different. But, I mean, no one's perfect. Right. So if someone is hurting you, what do you do to... Um, what do you do if someone is hurting you? Cry. You cry. <laughs> Does that help you? I don't know. Um, I just feel it, I guess. Uh, there's not really anything else you can do. Mm -hmm. You're. Are you a loyal friend to the people that are friends with you? I try to be, but I know sometimes that I make mistakes, mm -hmm. and I'm not perfect. And right. sometimes I just do things that I don't know why I did, but I mean I can't change what I've done. So, but I try the best that I can to be a good friend. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I think that um, from what you're explaining to me, that you have, um, you know what you like, you know what you don't like. Um, you are saying to me that, from if I may repeat back to you what I'm hearing, um, that you are, want to be a loyal friend, but sometimes trying to be a loyal friend isn't always easy, but you try to be the best that you can. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, awesome. That's good. That's good that you recognize, recognize that uh, loyalty is important and how you feel about it. Um, and you also, from what I heard you say about um, trying to be a loyal friend to others, that it's hard sometimes, but you do the best you can, and that if someone isn't loyal to you, it causes you to cry sometimes, <laughs> Well, <laughs> because you're not really sure of how to express those feelings. It, it depends, I mean, on it depends on the person, and how long do I, how long have I known them, what have we done together, you know, how much do I really trust them, because if it's an acquaintance, I don't expect people to be loyal to me uh, if we're not good good friends and I mean what I may think is disloyal or what someone else may think is disloyal might be two different ideas um, sometimes miscommunicate like things can happen that you know maybe one person doesn't think they're doing anything wrong and the other person thinks they are and so I mean it really depends on the situation so what I hear you saying is there's a difference between someone that is in a close relationship with you that's loyal versus someone that is an acquaintance. Yeah. Loyal to you. you do I hear you saying that you may not expect, have higher expectations from someone that is not yeah, exactly. um, an acquaintance versus someone that is really close to you? I mean, if, yes. Okay. Because if someone doesn't, you know, they, they know you, they talk to you, but they, you don't really have any relationship I don't see how you can expect them to be, you know, loyal or, you know, whatever it is, because you guys are just, you know, acquaintances. Right. So, you can't, I don't know, you can't, and, and what I'm saying, essentially, is that, I mean, like, I, I just look at it, like, I give everyone, like, a grain of salt, because nobody is perfect, and sometimes people just mess up and you can't condemn someone for making a mistake like we're only all human so yeah that's a good observation yeah yeah um let's talk a little bit more about your school um your work your teachers um yeah i don't like school work um uh, my teachers um they're okay i've had some good teachers and i've had bad teachers um this year is especially hard in school, um, a lot of pressure. Um, I wish I did better, I guess, in school. I wish I got more A's than I did B's, but I mean, it's too late now, so. But um, I think that B's are great. I think that you're, from what I'm hearing, you're um, loyal to your school that you study. It shows having a B, you just don't get a B without doing your homework and um, paying attention, attending school, um, you know, those things that go along with it, the responsibility that yeah. comes with trying to, trying to get good grades. Right? Yeah. 
Well, sometimes I just feel like I didn't give it my all, and I feel kind of guilty because I know that I could have done better, and maybe I haven't done bad, but I know that I could have done better, and so I don't really like like that. But I, I didn't know, like, I didn't take school seriously when I was a freshman and sophomore, and I didn't realize that so much would be based on my schoolwork. Yeah. Um, what grade are you in this year? Twelve. You're a senior. Yeah. And how do you feel about that? <laughs> stressed out. I mean, other than stressed out, is there any good attributes that you can think of as um, far as being a senior this year? Versus maybe a, a freshman like you were talking about? Well, I I don't really know. I have a car. I know how high school works. Uh, but no, I, I wish I was in seventh grade. Um, <laughs> it's stressful being a senior because I don't know what I want to do, where I want to go to school, yeah. or money, and, you yeah. know, i just trying to set up a life for myself, but it's stressful, and I'm only 17, so. Yeah. Um, what is one thing that you think you would like to change um, in your life right now? Well, i got to think about this. There's a few things that maybe I would like to change. I would like to maybe work on changing myself because I think that I need to try harder and I'm putting things off and I just, I don't know. I think that I need to be more determined to get things done because I don't wanna, like I wanna get things done but I'm not making the steps to get things done. Mm -hmm. And I just am having a block, so that'd be cool if I could, you know, make myself uh, just be able to, like, handle things better and change. If I say, uh, like, there's something about myself that I want to change, maybe something that, um, like, that I could, I lost my train of thought. I could follow through with it. I don't really like saying that I want to change something and then not doing anything about it. And I just kind of feel like that's what I'm doing. And if I continue on this path, that's going to be my whole life. Is going to be me wishing that I was something else. And, yeah, I don't really want to be 40 wishing that, you know, I did something different. Um, so what makes change important to you? Why is it important? Yeah. Well, change comes with growing up, and if we if we didn't have change, we wouldn't learn anything. If if I, for example, I moved a lot when I was younger, and if I hadn't moved, I wouldn't have learned to adjust. Or some people's parents split up, and that's a big change. But you just have to learn to deal with stuff. And if you don't have any change or any conflict, um, yeah, you're never going to know how to handle things. So you're resilient? Sure. Yeah. Do you feel resilient or do you, how do you feel about the word resilience? Define resilience. Define resilience. Resilient is being able to um, come up against some obstacles, look at it, and be able to look and focus and understand to the best of your ability and to move forward to try to overcome the little changes that, or big changes that are in your life. Yeah, well like I said, um, I'm only 17 so I don't know everything. I only know up from, you know, what I've done up until this point. But, um, yeah, I mean, you just have to handle things the best that you can because no. Um, if we didn't have any conflict or any changes, then we would just never grow. Like, I'm going to be in college, and that's going to be a big change, but I'm going to grow up a little bit. And it's just a part of life. Changes, change is good or it's bad. I, it can, you, it is what you make it. It can be good or it can be bad, you know? How do you feel about going to, um, look at, or uh, 
online, different colleges that 